Hey guys, it's Sonia Miller with Junk Monkey Paint Company. Welcome back here to my channel full of daily coaching. Every morning at 8 a.m. we meet up, whether you see me live or I leave a pre-recorded video for you, I promise I will leave some motivation for you every single morning. So catch me right at, right at eight o'clock or whether you watch throughout the day, do what's best for you, but grab a cup of coffee. Or even if you're doing the drive on the way to work, on the way home uh, from work, maybe you're working on a project right now, you're a maker or a creator too, Put me on, listen to me in the background, turn me upside down, face down. I really won't take offense. I am just glad that you are here. So today I want to talk to you guys on a topic of basically something. That I'm going to give you some homework to do today. You're going to have to do some auditing of your Facebook business page and the message messages or message that you are sending to your customers. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you today about are you confusing your customers are they clear on what it is that you stand for? And so there is a saying that says a confused mind does not buy. And I will tell you, a confused mind will also not follow you because they will have no idea what you stand for. I think every day in life we see this where we ourselves, if you need to get groceries, you go to a grocery store, right? So I'm not going to go to like a gas station that might have a few little convenience items because I'm looking for groceries. So in your storefront, do you have a little bit of everything going on or have you carved out a space for yourself when people hear you? your name and your business name, that they know exactly what you stand for. Yeah, being confused is not fun. So yesterday in the vlog, I talked about at the very end, I touched on, you know, if you are telling people about uh, toasters today, or I think I said telling people about vacuum cleaners today, you're going to really confuse them if tomorrow you're talking about toasters, because the same person that likes to clean and maybe loves vacuum cleaners may not be ones that eat breakfast and want to do anything, or maybe they don't even eat bread. Do you see what I'm saying? So you have to make sure that you carve out your little spot to be known for something. Think of it like even um, like a hairstylist, for example. All right, if I need to get my hair cut and Sally's up the road, but Sally's a mechanic, um, she's not in all the time. Sometimes she's doing hair, sometimes she's not. Sometimes she's she is, and then she'll go, like, go missing for three months or three weeks. Sometimes she posts on her Facebook page sometimes she doesn't and other times um, she has a has a love of stacking rocks in the rigor in the rivers and doing balancing and photography in art in that form so you're probably gonna want to go to somebody who's like okay I need a hair dresser who's on top of it who's on top of the trends knows exactly what's going on and has become the expert in her field or his field because he does it every single day he does it consistently right all the hours you put into something equals you being an expert. We talked about this as well the last couple of days. Like think about all the sports players that you know that they get this good because they put time into whatever it is, their craft, their sport every single day. Same thing with an artist. Even if you're somebody who um, just to kind of like, no matter what business that you're in, but you're somebody who wants to get better about a certain aspect of the business that you're in, you want to be a better painter, for example, a better beater, a better uh, baker, any of those things, you know it takes time and it takes practice, right? So that's like this full year ahead. We have an entire year and I promise, I almost threw my water bottle over there. I promise if you're practicing every single day in your business and you're putting things into action and you're focusing on it, hello, the name of this channel is Grow. And I promise you that what you focus on will grow. So I want to make sure that you're focusing on what you're trying to grow in and you're bringing that in front of your audience. Okay. So I want you to think back to your Facebook page. What have you been posting? Was it about handbags yesterday? Was it about painting today? Was it about XYZ yesterday and something different today? People who follow your page. Yesterday, I told you guys a strategy to make sure you're doing every single day about inviting people to follow and like your page. Well, if they do and they follow your page and this week now you are flipping furniture and next week you're into cross stitch, well, you know what? That might not be the same person, right? And that person that you just gained a follower of based on what you're posting right now, might send a message, a very confusing message to them. And they're like, well, I signed up for this and now I'm getting that. I don't want to see cross stitch in my feed. I signed up for this. Does that make sense? Now I'm going to go into it a little more depth here in the future, but basically in a nutshell, 
be me, a girl from a broadcast background and um, producing morning shows and being part of what goes into the thinking behind producing a morning show, I'm going to tell you, or even think about like a magazine um, or something like that that's being presented, right? Think about when you're going through the Walmart checkout or you're checking out at any, any store and there's all those magazines are sitting right there, right? There's a little bit of everything inside of them, but there's a general overall theme. So think about like a food magazine that you like but there's a bunch of stuff inside of it, right? It's not all food. It's really, really just kind of filled out with a bunch of stuff. Sometimes there's, there might be recipes. So sometimes it's things that you can learn from, things from that you can do from. Sometimes it's things um, that, you know, motivate you and inspire you. Sometimes there's funnies in them, that make you laugh. Sometimes there might be some ads in there, AKIA sales going on within that particular uh, magazine, for example, right? Or like I said, the morning show. When you listen to a morning show in the morning, you know what? There's there's all kinds of fun facts in there. There's human interest stories in there. There's music in there. So, But at the same time, it has a theme. And so I want you to think about your business as just being like that, right? Like you have a you have a mission statement of what you're here to do, and then you have a theme that flows on your social medias. So if you listen to how I explain myself when I am on uh, social media and I'm introducing myself, you don't have to do it all the time, but you just wanna make sure that you're doing it. So if you skip a video today and you don't say it, well, just make sure you introduce yourself tomorrow, okay? But at the end of the day, you know, saying something for me, it comes out like, Hey guys, I'm Sonia with Junk Monkey, Paint, Junk Monkey Paint Company. I love to give new life to old things and I love to inspire other people with the power of paint. Now there's a million gazillion things that Sonia is good at, that Sonia loves to do, but Sonia, this is her this is her business and this is where this is the part of her her life, her passion, her hobby that she's decided to monetize. And while there are days that Sonia might be doing other things besides painting, she doesn't bring it in to her Facebook page. That's for her personal page, right? So you wanna keep your business page focused on what it is that you're trying to grow and keep your people focused, all right? It's the whole keep it simple, sweetheart. You're gonna hear me say that a million and one times because honestly, you know, a lot of times we think, oh, we gotta do this and we gotta do that and we gotta do this. No, we just gotta keep it simple. What is it that you do? And then from, th from there, as part of that theme, what can you tell people about today? And it doesn't always have to be selling, right? It's, you know what, it's what we talked about, relationships with people and posting things that are related to that, but not all over the map. So for me, I could, I mean, when I gave that intro to you just a couple minutes ago, there's a lot of different things I could have got into. Like, well, you know what? Me and my husband designed a paint and now we have a paint brand that's known internationally. And talk about, you know, that I have this business coaching group right here and that I'm a YouTube vlogger every single day and I thrift and I go out there and do that. And that I like furniture and I like decor and I don't just limit to myself to one thing. I like to even paint canvases. That's a lot to say. So what your homework is today as part of the action step of this video is I want you to audit your page and ask yourself, have I been confusing people when they come to my page? Do they even know what I stand for? And number two, what do I stand for? So I want you to use the, my example of what I just shared you with me. And I want you to think about yourself and put it into your words. Remember, you personalize it. And that's how you make your business different from somebody else's because you have pulled, instead of gathering something outward from what other, somebody else is doing, what other people are doing, you've pulled from the inside and you're putting your own spin onto it, right? Because we all have our own verbiage as well. So I want you to figure out what it is that you stand for, all right? In two quick sentences, what could you tell me what it is that you do? And this is also known as an elevator uh, speech, all right? Ever been in the elevator with somebody? You know, it can be a little bit awkward. You gotta, you're got you in a very small pay, place with somebody for a very short period of time. And you know what? It's it's You're there all together real quick. And if somebody asked you what it is that you do, or even if you go to a party, okay? And uh, somebody, you don't even know the person, they're a stranger, but you just happen to be in a space with them. You don't, they don't know anything about you. You don't know anything about them. And you're making very quick, uh, small talk. And somebody says to you, what is it that you do, Sonia? You're going to lose that person if you don't even know what you do, right? So you have to figure out that for yourself. So figure out in two sentences, how would, I, how, how would I describe what I do? And then once you have the clarity of what it is that you do, that's gonna make it a whole lot easier when you're trying to figure out what you should post on social media today, right? Easy peasy. Does it fit within your mission statement, your vision, 
your plan, your overall theme of what you do as a business. And if it doesn't, then you don't post it. It makes it really easy. But then you can start to look for things that really fall within the umbrella of how you describe what you do as part of your business. And also to go back to what I said yesterday about going into groups. And you know what? Part of going into groups is just to observe, is to be able to go in and see what does um, somebody that I could serve, they haven't met me yet, but I am in this group and I'm looking around going, wow, if all these guys and gals knew what it is that I do, that I really could help them. Um, you know, if you're into, if you could get into their minds, you know, it's going to teach you so much because then when you come back to your page, you can see what they're asking for. And that's the stuff that you're going to post on your page that fits within your brand, right? Within, like I said, your umbrella, your mission of what you do as a business. So look at the words that they use, look at the questions that they ask, but do you see how it's all coming together? You're figuring out what you stand for because if you don't know what you're, what you stand for, how will your customer even know? All right. And yes, as a creative, we can be good at a million gazillion different things. That is our special secret sauce. You know what? That we can try all sorts of different stuff and we always have great ideas. That's our mind, right? But you've got to really learn to control it because to other people out there, when they see that you are posting all over the map about all sorts of things um, at all different times, then that might be a recipe for disaster. So uh, it's going to be hard to get people to follow you and want to stay attracted to you because you have to, to be attracted to somebody else that goes, okay, he or she is doing exactly what I want to learn. He or she is doing exactly what I want to follow. But if you're, if you're doing all the things, you can't be everything to everyone, right? We've always heard that growing up. You can't be everything to everyone. So it's easier just for you to pick what it is that you love to do and to just roll forward and stay in your lane, in your lane. So question of the day, what is your lane? Tell me below in two sentences what it is that you have, you do if I met you in an elevator and I said, so what do you do? All right, I'll be waiting. See you tomorrow, guys. That's some food for thought there. All right, enjoy your coffee, grab a pen, some paper, and write down exactly what is your elevator speech. What do you do?